Hello, my name is Kobe Bosley. I'm a solutions consultant here at ServiceNow. And today I'm gonna be discussing ServiceNow's SPM standard versus SPM Pro's capabilities. So in today's landscape, aligning execution with strategy is paramount. ServiceNow SPM is a powerful tool for this, but choosing the right tier, standard or pro, is key to maximizing its value. Here, you can see a list of SPM capabilities and whether or not they're included in standard versus pro. My goal for today is to go over the two main differentiators between standard and pro. So here we're gonna focus on the two key focus areas, which are first gonna be agile development, right? So agile development integrates team level agile execution with enterprise wide strategic planning, enabling organizations to manage and track scrum, scrum programs, safe, um, hybrid projects, all within direct alignment with their overall portfolio goals. And then our second key focus area here is gonna be strategic planning. Strategic planning provides a centralized workplace to define business goals, prioritize all types of work from ideas to projects and create dynamic roadmaps that connect high level strategy directly to execution and delivery. Now let's take a look at what's included in these modules with a little bit more depth. Here, I just wanna get a little more granular and talk about the capabilities that are included in Standard versus Pro. SPM Standard does include Agile Team. This is a single team level Agile capability, meaning it has the limited backlog, sprint planning, and tracking capabilities when executing projects in your Agile environments. SPM Pro transforms organizations that need to scale more broadly, have improved visibility, see work dependencies, and visualize capacity and bandwidth constraints. Agile Development 2.0 gives you the ability to create work for hybrid teams and hybrid projects. It allows you to utilize our Scrum programs to get that holistic view into your organization's Agile development, giving your enterprise full autonomy when building out your Agile environment. Let's hop into the platform and see how your organization can maximize the value of their strategic portfolio management investment. What I wanted to showcase here were the Scrum programs that are included in SPM Pro. First, you're gonna get this holistic view into your backlog of your entire organization, right? We can check it by all epics, we can look at different backlogs here, whether it be your digital products, your HR employee experience, etc. You can create your own epic dynamically within the platform to go ahead and have a fast track way of doing this and just put it right into this backlog bucket here. And now one of the most powerful tools we have to offer is the planning phase. Now, the planning phase is gonna display your respective teams, i.e. your mobile team B, your mobile team C, what their respective backlogs look like, right? What their stories that haven't been assigned to a sprint yet look like, and then what those sprints look like, and are they over capacity, are they under capacity, and what's dependent on what? So we're gonna focus right here on this sprint number three. Let's take a look and see why this is showing red. It has a group capacity of 10 story points, what we can see is it's getting about 13 story points here. So if we just want to change that and move that to the sprint before, you can see the red warning goes away and now the work is split up evenly or enough between sprint two and sprint three. And you're not going to have that problem of over planning or not being able to see what's dependent on what and getting more of a holistic view into your scrum program initiatives. I wanted to showcase within the strategic planning workspace, enterprise agile planning. This is one of the most powerful tools that comes with SPM Pro. Now, what you're looking at here is just a digital transformation initiative that has two different teams, the customer portal and the mobile app. And what we're looking at is a holistic view into how digital transformation is performing based on these two teams. So this is just a dashboard view, right? Highly configurable, you know, how many total story points, how many epics are included in this, um, the epics by state, right? Are they backlogged, in analysis, in review, and what does that distribution look like? You know, what do these four epics look like? And any of these um, goals or current sprints, what kind of progress they are in at the moment? You can take a look at the backlog within any of these, right? But what we really wanna be focused on here is the planning board, right? The planning board gives you that view to see, okay, my customer portal team, this is what their backlog looks like. This is what their sprints look like. These are all the dependencies here, right? You can see that this item is dependent on those two items there. 
the story is dependent on those two stories there. You can see the capacity percentage, right? Both toggleable, right? You can see that this capacity is at 32 out of 40 points. This one's at 37. And if we wanted to showcase this, you could see that if you go over those maximum threshold uh, points, it'll display that dynamically. It's a very powerful tool to be able to utilize this, as well as having a centralized repository for all documentation based on this team or based on this initiative. Now, I wanna talk about what's offered from a portfolio versus a strategic planning view. Portfolio planning comes with a traditional way of tracking, creating, and planning projects. Standard comes with the ability to create traditional waterfall and agile projects, as well as manual demand creation. Standard also comes with three non-customizable out-of-the-box lenses with very limited configurable capabilities. Capacity and financial planning are included as well, but limited to only projects and demands. Portfolio planning focuses on outputs. Success is measured by whether projects are completed on time and within budget. Versus in SPM Pro, we offer strategic planning, which uses a mix of methodologies, waterfall, agile, and even hybrid approaches. SPM is designed to manage this diverse landscape, providing a holistic view of not just projects, but also agile epics, products, and operational activities. We offer the ability to associate business outcomes and goals to the work that is being done, as well as more out-of-the-box out lenses and fully customizable and creatable lenses to fit your organization's needs. The ability to plan capacity and financials for more than just projects and demands, reaching out to epics and agile epics. We offer the ability to prioritize those needs and rank portfolio items appropriately. Let's take a look at what SPM Pro has to offer in the platform today. So now that we're in the platform, what we're looking at here is the strategic planning workspace. And all this is showing is a list of your portfolio plans, whether it be by department, by products, or even by uh, initiatives, right? Or strategic priority, et cetera. Just a short description of what it is, you know, right? What, um, what scoring framework, what's included in it? Is there capacity? Are there goals included? Um, and then the scoring framework here is something that's going to be covered later in this video. This is not included in a standard subscription, only the pro subscription. Uh, you know, you're going to get your plan start and your end dates and then the respective lens that relates to that portfolio plan. Now, lenses are where I wanted to start, right? Lenses give you that configurable view into your portfolios, right? You're gonna be able to prioritize, filter, and group projects based on specific attributes. So essentially, you're seeing the book of work from the view that is most appropriate to you. And what I mean by that is if you just wanna look at it from a project portfolio standpoint, you can see um, the projects, demands, and epics that roll into the portfolio. But if you're some type of product manager and you know you don't really care too much about anything outside of the product model, you can see the product ideas, projects and demands and epics that roll into that product model that roll into the company, or just from a strictly a goals perspective, right? Being able to collaborate on all the specific goals within an organization. You can look at it through that lens as well. Again, a highly configurable platform that Pro gives you the ability to customize, create your own and edit existing out of the box lenses, as well as in addition to the three out of the box lenses you get in standard, you have eight in your pro subscription. Now, I wanted to come back here to the portfolio planning page and just go into one of these portfolios and show you within the portfolio what you're entitled to in standard versus what you're entitled to in pro. Now, goals and scoring are gonna be the main two categories that you're gonna be able to get the full value out of your SPM investment by utilizing goals. Now, goals are just these high-level strategic outcomes that an organization aims to achieve, right? And you're going to be able to align a portfolio all the way down to the planning items to ensure that work's being delivered on your different business outcomes. So all we're looking at here is just a different type of dashboard, right? You're going to be able to see how your goals are performing. Right now, we have four goals, uh, one in the green, one maybe not filled out entirely, one goal that we're not meeting, and one goal that's maybe on a threshold. Right, and then how your targets are performing. Right now, your targets are these are going to be specific, measurable metrics, and those key performance indicators or KPIs that are used to track progress of a strategic goal over a defined period. Right, and then we're going to be able to get that holistic view into 
those goals and targets as well for this portfolio. And you're gonna be able to see how many work items are attached to the goals that are associated. You're gonna see the owner, what kind of progress you're working with, what the status is, and why that status is maybe the way it is from an actual to the uh, final target value. And then, you know, the timeline over that and when the last time it was updated and what strategic priorities are involved with that. Again, a highly configurable platform if you're looking to create new goals, you can do that right here in this dashboard. And then lastly, I wanted to touch upon scoring. Now, a scoring framework is a standardized way to rank and prioritize work within your organization. Being able to generate a numerical score to aid in investment prioritization. Now, again, here you can see just a different list of different types of demands, projects, and epics. Now, within a standard subscription, you're only entitled to demand and projects, whereas here you're entitled to viewing epics as well. Now, we can see that this is a RICE framework scoring method, and RICE is pretty much reach, impact, confidence over effort. So you're able to come in here and dynamically change. Let's say this, um, let's go ahead and edit one of these. Women in Tech Initiative, right? You can come in and give it some sort of reach value, give it some sort of impact. Uh, what kind of confidence we're working with. Maybe we're very confident this is a project we wanna work on. And then maybe an effort, right? A t-shirt size. Maybe it's just a small initiative we have to look for. And then we can filter by rice score. And you can see here that the Rice Framework organizes it by the highest score to the lowest score, giving you that holistic view into your investments that you can prioritize as an organization. What I wanna showcase here is the ability to add agile phases into a waterfall project. So we're in the project workspace here and we're looking at this financial system replacement project. And when we expand this financial system replacement project, we can see there's different phases, initiating, planning, executing, delivering, et cetera, right? We get a Gantt chart view over here on the right. Now, within this waterfall project, what we wanna do is add an agile phase within the project. Now, in SPM standard, you're unable to do this. So what we can showcase here is the ability to add an agile phase and then put it within any part of the project that you see fit. So here, we just put the agile phase within the initiating phase of the project. I wanted to say thank you for joining today. If you have any further questions, please contact your account executive or go to servicenow.com to learn more.